In this video, we will discuss how to use the Gradebook in the Carroll Learning Center. As you might already know, the COC is our branding of the Moodle Learning Management System. We'll look at two hypothetical Gradebook setups in Moodle. In the first video, we will discuss how to set up a course with weighted categories. And in the second video, how to set up a Gradebook with a point system. The first step is to open your course and click Gradebook Setup. You'll notice that the course name is listed at the top of the course. To the left, you'll see an edit button that allows you to change how grades are calculated in this course. In this video, we'll discuss how to set up a gradebook with weighted categories. So I'm going to click Edit. And under Aggregation, I'm going to select Weighted Mean of Grades. You'll also notice that there is a maximum grade listed here. By default, this is set to 100. If you use a, an unconventional grading method, let's say you your course total could be up to 200 points, then you would want to change this maximum grade to 200 points. But as it is, I'm going to leave it at 100 and click on Save Changes. Towards the bottom, you'll see two buttons, Add a Category and Add a Grade Item. Grade items are the individual assignments that make up a course. Grade items can either be manual items, in other words, it adds a column to your gradebook where you manually enter the grade, or you can have activity-based items. These are items such as test and assignments, where when you create them on your course homepage, they're automatically added to the gradebook. Category is a way to create a weighted group of assignments. Let's say, for example, that you have three exams that are collectively worth 40% of your grade. You could create a category worth 40% and add the exams to that category. Moodle would average the grades and weigh them appropriately. So that you can get a better idea of how grade items and categories work, let's take a look at a course that I've taught, Gateway. In my Gateway course, forums count for 40% of the entire grade. The research paper, both the draft and the final submission, count for 40%. The quiz counts for 10% of the grade, and the course planning assignment counts for 10% of the grade. If you remember earlier, only tests and assignments are activity-based grades. In other words, you would add them on the course homepage, and they appear automatically in the gradebook. The rest of the grade items will have to be added manually from the gradebook setup page. I'm going to begin by adding the individual discussion forums. So I'll click on Add Grade Item. And as you set up items, you'll notice that you can also set a maximum grade. You can either use the default, which is 100, or if you give individual points, like three or four points for each discussion forum, you can set that here to three or four points. Now you click on Save Changes. You'll see here that the discussion forum one is listed. You can tell it's a manual grade item because of the icon beside it. Now I'm gonna go and I'm going to create six more discussion forums. Now that I have my discussions forum set up, I can create a category and put all the discussion forums in that category. I'm gonna scroll down, click on add category, and I'm going to call this discussion forums and click Save Changes. Now I see discussion forums is listed. Since this is a weighted category, I'm going to add a four zero here for 40% and click Save Changes. Now I have to move all of the discussion forums underneath the discussion forum category. To do so, I'm going to click on the little arrows. There's an up and down arrow that says move. And this opens up a page where you can move grade items and categories. You'll notice that under the discussion forums category, which is in bold, there is a, a box here. I'm going to click move to here. And you'll see the discussion forum is now listed under the appropriate category. I'm going to do the same for all the discussion forums. You'll notice that it adds a calculation for each one of the grade items. 
and all of these are the same number, these will all add up to 100. You can leave this alone. The only reason that you would change the weight within the category is if you wanted to make certain grade items worth more than others. As it is, however, all seven discussion forums are worth equal weight. Since the rest of the assignments are activity-based grade items, I'm going to actually have to go to the course homepage and add them. So I'm going to click on the course homepage and make sure you have turn editing on in the top right hand corner. This allows you to add activities or resources. I'm going to add an activity and I'll call it quiz and this will be quiz one. I'm also going to add another assignment for the course planning assignment. So under activities, I'm going to click on the first one. And under assignment, students can actually submit their papers through Moodle rather than emailing them to you. Now I'm going to add another assignment. And with this assignment, students will be submitting the first draft of the research paper. Click save and return to course. And finally, I'm going to add the final draft submission. I'm going to click add and save and return to course. When I go back to gradebook setup, I'll see that these new items have been added to the gradebook. And this is what I mean when I say activity-based grade items. You create them in the course homepage and they're automatically added to the gradebook. I didn't have to create these manually. Now it's important that I have these set up. I want to weight them appropriately. So the quiz counts for 10% of the total grade. So I'm going to put a 10 here. Course planning assignment counts for 10% of the final grade. The first draft of the research paper counts for 20% of the final grade. And the final draft of the research paper is 20%. I put those numbers in and I click on save changes. Now when you're setting up the gradebook, you want to make sure all the weights add up to 100. Now that I have my gradebook set up correctly, I'm going to go from gradebook setup to what's called the grader report. The grader report shows you all the students in your class and it shows all the grade items. I should note that students' grades are only visible to them and to you. When it's time to grade assignments, you can grade manual grade items from the grader report. Just click on the week where you want to add a grade, type in a grade and press enter, and now the grade has been saved. And you'll see as you are entering grades, it's calculating both the category total and the final grade for the course. For activity-based grade items, such as tests and quizzes, you need to actually go to the course homepage and you'll have to click on the assignment. And then you can click either view all submissions or you can just click grade. So I'm going to enter a grade in here and click save changes. I'm going to go back to the course homepage and to access the gradebook, I'm going to scroll to the side here and click on grades and you'll see that the grade that I entered for the course planning assignment has been added to the gradebook. I'd also like to point out that you can toggle between the grader report for the entire class or you can click on single view. This allows you to see a particular student or you can choose a particular item. So let's say you want to see how the entire class did on quiz one. You could click on quiz one and it'll show you your students and how they performed. You can also use this to toggle between the gradebook setup, which is where we set up grades and the grader report itself, where you'll enter manual grade items. So I hope this video has been helpful in setting up a gradebook. In the description of this video, I'm going to include a screenshot of this gradebook setup so that you can replicate this in your own courses. And I'm also going to include a link to Moodle documentation about grade aggregation. Thanks for watching.